Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Where I'll be giving my opinion on certain topics So what has been like um, disturbing me recently is like Many people like wants to be an Instagram influencer Like it seems very like glamorous and seems really nice Well, I don't exactly like to be labeled as an influencer Because I don't think I really influence people But more like I'm a content creator Whereby I kind of come up with like concepts, shoots, like things And then I kind of like um, document them, photograph them And then like publish it as my product Why they categorize me as an influencer So yeah so let me tell you like what are some of the things that um, I do and then maybe you can maybe think about whether you want to be an influencer. So what do I do is like I create um, videos, content, I do makeup uh, concepts, I do like um, cosplay. So because of that sometimes there are clients that work with me so like we collaborate, we come up with something or um, I'm supposed to give like a review. And then comes this part you know like People, it's very subjective whenever you put a price on anything, okay? Like, maybe you think that your muffins are like $5, but I can feel that your muffins are only $3, you know? So like, whenever you put a price, then people will start to be a bit like, mm, maybe let's not do it together, or like, uh, maybe another time. Because, you know, like, money hurts relationships. So I have clients that sometimes they bargain a price with me. How about half price? 60%? 70%? Buy one get one free. I, I feel kind of like uncomfortable because at the same time you want to do a promotion, I need to get bills paid and eat and make a living for myself. Like how the hell is the person gonna like come up with everything and then I like, not get paid? What do I do as like a content creator? I am the model, photographer, creative director of the shoot. Mm. What? I am the editor. If you were to find a production crew, right, that would cost like a lot of money. But actually, I might be taking like only like less than half of what is required of a real team because I'm just doing this all alone. Please be nice on us. Being an influencer, like you really need to see where does your work come from, and your work only comes from like sponsorships or like uh, collaborations, and that is what really like sets you going at the same time you must understand like why do anyone even want to collaborate with you like would you just pick a random person on the road and be like hey why don't you just do this for me like you definitely need to have a kind of like a brand awareness and you really need to be really good at what you add then you can help people to promote stuff yeah in a span of like 12 months i don't get work every month sometimes one month can be like totally dry and then some months I can have like four or five projects so it's kind of like unpredictable so you never know when what will come next also like for kids right if you want to put yourself out in the media you are bound to have like criticism, haters because everyone will hate everything that you do like even for me, people would tell me like, oh you're too feminine, oh I don't like your face, I don't like your voice Like that you put makeup, and you're a guy but you're wearing like pastel clothes You have a pink backdrop with green stuff Like you really need to have really thick skin and you cannot get affected by what other people tell you Maybe people just don't like how I speak No, I'm just kidding, who cares? After you receive the project from the client, so there's a certain deadline you need to meet. To that deadline, you like submit your drafts to the client and sometimes the client will be like this. You've done this, so like would you like to check this out? No 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 change it. Okay, um okay, I've made some changes, how about this? Oh no 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 change. Um, okay, I make more changes, how about this? I like the first one better. Are you for real? So once you have submitted your like final draft, thumbs 3 to 1, 
then you wait for payment and payment doesn't come immediately you think what like after you submit your stuff like people will pay you straight no it's gonna come like one or two months later or it never comes okay so i have had like really bad um dealings with event organizers like until now like they haven't even paid i don't know how can i do but just chase them every month like on whatsapp like um so when you're gonna pay you know and stuff like that like i already did what you want to do and then how come i'm not getting paid and then it, it, it makes me look like a bad person but how can you not pay your products which is me really came there i delivered what i'm supposed to do you should probably i deliver what you're supposed to deliver anyways i think that will just be a lesson to me to know that like there's certain people that I cannot work with or there's a certain organization that i don't work with so that is just a fee to understand how certain organization works and even now like honestly i feel like People, they are really famous. Yeah, maybe people that are viral, they are like kind of weird. They are not like your conventional like beauty peeps. Like when I was younger, I like, just thought like, oh, just being like a flower pot, which means like just like looking good, looking pretty and looking handsome. You just get all the attention. But no, like everyone now have been so weird. Like China ladies eating scorpions and centipedes or like people smashing eggs on their face yeah it's really hard to like you know make a mark out there and then you know letting people know who you are as a person so i need to bring extra stuff on the table i need to, people will watch like crazy stuff that you do like for if i'm gonna ride a motorbike and do makeup tutorial i guess like that will go viral you know like it's that i need to go to that extent to be present but i'll still work hard nonetheless so all in all i think that being an influencer is not for everybody so if you really want to and after like my whole video you still like am ready for whatever this is gonna happen then sure go ahead so for all you aspiring influencers content creators weird people and whatnot. Um, I just hope there's success to y'all and this is what your life's calling is just do it and just don't give up